Y'all think I forgot? My tarot readings, my weekly horoscopes are only meant for people that are smiling. So if you're not smiling right now, honey. <laughs> I love you. Let's go. Hello, my beautiful Libra. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly horoscope, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Libra. Let me know which cards resonate and how they resonate, because that is how we keep up with you guys, is through the comments as well. I would really appreciate it if you do enjoy this reading, or Libra, you just enjoy my vibe. I would really appreciate it if you were to take the extra step to give this video a like and subscribe as well, because it does help me out a lot, and I'm super appreciative of that when you guys take that step to do that for me. But remember, Libra, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. Right? I believe my cards here today are just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, but never making the decisions in your life, because it's your life to live, not mine and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, Libra, let's finally just get into your weekly tarot horoscope for today. So let's see where it is that you guys are currently at right now, Libra. How is, how is it that you guys are currently feeling? What's going on for y'all there? How are you feeling? Seven of Fire, Seven of Wands, okay. So this card says, defending your beliefs and decisions, standing your ground, and choosing your battles wisely, Libra. So right off the bat, you Libras are probably feeling extremely opinionated on something. Uh, you probably are feeling some type of way. Uh, uh, hmm. How do you want to put this? I can't help but feel like Libra, uh, especially when there's this emphasis of standing your ground with something. It's almost as if... Uh, you're putting something in perspective and being like, you know what, let's just give like a narrative, Libra. You're seeing, you're noticing like someone's being extremely passive aggressive to you. Someone's being dismissive of you and your experiences, right? Uh, you're being asked to to uh, not allow the situation to question yourself, question your authenticity, question your, you know, just leaving you in a place of just question, right? How many times can I say question, Libra? But with this dynamic, uh, notice when it says picking your battles, it's almost as if Libra, you're being asked to identify uh, a person in your life where it's just, or a person situation where it could potentially shake how you view yourself and putting it in perspective and being like, you know what, this just isn't good for me. This is toxic, but do not engage with it is something that I'm getting, right? Choosing your battles wisely is a situation of where it's just like, is it really worth engaging with an energy once you're able to acknowledge a situation is toxic or you're able to acknowledge a situation is just serving you in a way that just doesn't feed good energy, good things into you that has you feeling good about yourself. So let's do a water break, honey. Ah, yeah, so let's get into some clarifying cards for this Libra, shall we? Let's see what's going on here uh, for the Seven of Wands. Why is it that you feel the need to uh, stand your ground with something, right? Why are you in this sense of feeling like your views are being challenged is something that I'm hearing as well, Libra. So let's see what's going on here. I want one more card. Let's see, this one right here. All right. So definitely involving in terms of, I would say, a lot of you Libras, heavily in terms of something that you're trying to manifest, something that you're working on. Definitely could be like a workplace environment thing, Libra, where, you know, maybe you have that passive aggressive coworker or boss that uh, is trying to get into your head and making you feel like you're not doing your job that well. Or, you know, because we have here king of pentacles the knight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles in the reverse so there's some type of situation happening libra that has you uh someone i can't help but feel like someone's trying to challenge like the journey that you're going on someone is trying to i keep on saying someone but yeah it's almost as if like it just feels like someone's not respecting your path basically libra and because of this um it just has you in this place of um not really feeling very good potentially about what it is you're trying to accomplish if you allowed these words to get inside of your head right so nine of pentacles is all about uh that self-sufficient energy but when it's inverted it's quite literally the opposite especially notice with the nine of pentacles this is usually a card of feeling pretty 
um, solo as well. With the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, you're really working towards like a new... I always say like the King of Pentacles is like trying to build up that stable empire, trying to build up like that company, trying to build up something big, like big projects, right? Knight of Pentacles is you just making slow groundwork towards that, right? Trying to stay the course. But something's going on here with this Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. This is where I'm like, what's going on, right? Five of Cups in the reverse. So there is a situation that you probably have been going on and off about, Libra. I was trying to be like, oh, is this situation actually good for me? Should I give this another shot? Should I approach this from a different place? Right, Libra, with this Five of Cups inverted, this lets me know someone that... Um, you know, because let me explain. The Five of Cups normally is someone who's transitioning on. You know, they look back, they look at the situation that they're moving on from, but they know they are having to keep it going, right? They have to turn around and keep going forward. With this being inverted, this is showing to me like almost falling back into the same patterns, allowing the same energies in. I'm definitely hearing for some of you Libras, you need to hear that they have not changed whatsoever. Uh, if you're feeling that eight of cups in the reverse yeah libras y'all need to some of y'all need to hear a very firm message with peace and love knight of cups in the reverse as well there's something that you're trying to feed energy energy back into libra that just isn't conducive for you that just is getting you back into your head um that has you just you know and maybe it's not even in their intentions right because we're not seeing sword cards i do feel strongly it's another energy uh, coming in here Libra that has you in this place or just not feeling very good about yourself and I feel like just because of the dynamic of these cards it's an energy of something that you wanted to give another shot or maybe perhaps you've been ignoring the red flags for a while because maybe you've been hopeful Libra in that uh, things will change, that they will mature, that they will what have you, right? Because I see you in this place of wanting to just really create. Um, because you, you got nothing but wands cards and pentacle cards, like heavy pentacle cards for you, Libra. So you are really, your focus is really trying to bring in stability, really trying to just manifest. And so with this nature, it's almost like because you're trying to manifest, you're really trying your best into maintain perhaps even like a as high of a vibrational state as one can be in. And you take this as a sign of like rather than uh, moving on from something, you're just like, oh, maybe I can go from a different approach, right? It just feels like you're seeing something as like a personal challenge to make it work in your life rather than uh, just letting something go or at the very least putting it in perspective but notice again choosing your battles it's all about you know acknowledging it but you don't always have to engage with everything that you acknowledge you can just keep a note of it and still keep it going right uh it does does it does definitely feel like you just need to put someone in perspective and just be at peace with it or like the situation and then just like keep it going right don't even engage with it just keep on trying to create and set the path for yourself i am really seeing libra a lot of you guys in this really high state of creation um really and i'm not just saying this just because i'm a libra as well um but like i've noticed there's like a pattern for all the tarot readers this week as well recently uh libras are getting really fabulous readings uh in terms of manifesting and creating it's not it's a common theme for all of the tarot readers so far um i know this because i look at libra readings right um but i really do see you kind of like blazing this trail whatever it is that you're trying to create libra people are paying attention and when people are paying attention people can feel some type of way right they'll try to like bring you down whether it's consciously or unconsciously whether it's intentional or unintentional right maybe they're just insecure regardless of it like it does feel as if you're having a lot of eyes on you because that's how i see the seven of wands as well as like a lot of eyes noticing you libra and it's you know with that exposure it just comes with varying opinions varying views um varying challenges and you just cannot allow any just don't I just keep on feeling, uh, Libra, just not to engage. Just keep on focusing on creating, right? If things, everything will figure itself out. Um, you have the Blue Heron card. Notice again, this is another, similar to the Seven of Wands. And this card says, Libra, make a stand for what you believe in and do what you feel is right in spite of judgment and disapproval of others. 
can we appreciate libra how these two cards go quite literally it's like the same there's it's a double affirmation message libra of um really taking a stand for something that you're feeling and knowing that you're in the right libra and i know this has been like a pretty common message for you guys recently libra as well of really get, needing this reassurance that you're not crazy that the things that you're doing is like on like on par with like your purpose right and it just does definitely feel like as you continue writing in your purpose libra you have the potential of uh things energies people getting in your head and having you in a state of questioning and you know but take this i really do just see like take this good uh plebis uh Use your words, Alka. Take this publicity that you're getting, take this notice that you're getting right now, Libra, and allow it to just like elevate you forward, push you forward, rather than be something that you have to stop and engage with and have like a one on one with. You can identify a feeling without um, having to call them out on it, right? But you also can not have to call them out on it, but not also try to ignore and give them the benefit of the doubt either and continuously like allowing them to have like this heavy weight on you, right? Very much so like a put a, put like a invisible boundary there. I want I pulled a card to see how this is going to pan out for you this week, Libra. We have the High Priestess card. The, the So again, really an affirmation, Libra, that you're not crazy. You even had this card before. I believe in your last week's reading, Libra, of where it's just like you were right about something. Like what you've been identifying, you've been right about, Libra, and you consistently are getting the same message, reaffirming, Libra, that you're in the right, that you're not crazy. You're noticing something, right? And it's interesting. So Archangel... Uh, Haniel is coming in this week if you're open to connecting to Archangels, um, Libra, as well as the number two. Write down the number two for numerology. Uh, this card says, though, uh, listen to your intuition, have patience at this time, and to consider carefully what it is that you want before acting, right? Notice there's this theme as well for you, Libra, of where it's like really asking you to sit down and think about things, really just like observing but not acting necessarily. There's just this constant pressure just needing for you, Libra, to observe, allow things to put stuff, allow things to be put into perspective, but, you know, don't engage. It's just something I keep on hearing. It's just don't engage with this energy. So let's see what this is about, right? Let's get some clarifying cards. Let's see. Wow. So there's definitely a situation here, Libra uh that you just do not like we have the wheel of justice in the reverse the justice card in the reverse and the seven of wands coming in here in the upright so again notice the seven of wands caught following you <laughs> um with the justice card in the wheel of fortune in the reverse this is i mean this is your energy libra um something that you feel is just counterintuitive to your growth at this point on it's and it's again with the seven of wands um, I really do. What is this about, Libra? Is this a person? Is this like an event that's happened recently, Libra? Something has you in this place that it's just like, it's like a leech, something that just like clings on to you and really just, uh, it's like this like devil on your shoulder, just really feeding doubt, feeding just, I don't feel like it has you feeling good. A judgment card comes in. Let's see. The Fool card and the Five of Wands. Okay, yeah. Some type of action needs to be taken, Libra, from your end with this. Because with the Five of Wands, the Fool card, and the Judgment card, I really do see this as, like, you needing to take action in terms of... Um, how you want to approach this conflict, right? So maybe before Libra, you always have engaged with conflict, whether it's through conversation, or maybe for some of you Libras, you whenever there's like this sense of just like stressors in your life, uh, you start shutting down a little bit and you feel like you're being asked to change up your approach and how you cope with things, how you handle things. Especially with this uh, High Priestess card, it's like, again, this affirmation, affirming message, Libra, that you're not crazy in your experiences, not at all. Um, you're not crazy in the thoughts and what have you. But um, 
we just need to change things up because I do see like a pattern coming up for you, Libra. I'm noticing the pattern just with your reading. So I just want to just say this peace and love, honey, right? Make sure Libra that you're not catching yourself in like the same coping me mechanisms that you usually will do. Um, when it comes to dealing with like stressors in your life, if that makes sense. So let's pull an animal oracle card for this situation as well. Two cards came out. We have the mouse card, interesting, and the emu card. So I want to talk about this mouse card first. This mouse card says you're overlooking some important details. So pay attention, closer attention to what's going on right notice another observing card libra you're really just being asked to keep your eyes peeled something's there's would for spirit to really be bringing this forward uh libra uh, something's going on something's going on that i feel like you really want to know about um but again i don't feel like you're taking action on it i just again feel like it's more about perspective and just seeing things for how they are and it's through seeing things how they are that gives you the sense of release um so you can just focus on the good things right the emu card says this is a good time to go on a new adventure so yeah i feel like libra definitely this makes me think about your old reading one of your older readings where it's asked where i titled it something along the lines of like packing your bags libra this is giving me a very similar vibe in the sense of where it's like you know maybe you've been functioning as like working as a team with with like some people or maybe you thought there's like something that was going to be in your life for a long standing time and i feel like now libra you gotta kind of just accept a situation for how it is and start planning your life accordingly without it for the long term right you don't have to leave the situation now right but you have to at the very least acknowledge that something just isn't for you right and focus on just more creation i feel like the best thing you can do for yourself at this time is just put yourself on a routine libra really focus on creating and just paying attention to what it is that's trying to be revealed to you so i feel like there's something something's being sloppy something's being sloppy something's showing themselves someone's showing like their true colors around you and it's almost like a bait i feel where it's just like oh what is libra gonna do i wonder if i can piss libra off this way i wonder if i can libra's really like doing a lot right now i wonder what it, if i can bring a distraction forward in that way so take that all as you will libra now let's get into your financial and work situation this week let's see what's in the works here four of water four of uh, or the four of cups this card says missing an opportunity discontentment or bo boredom and opening your eyes to the possibilities huh. so another card asking for you to pay attention but what is it about your work life that you're missing this opportunity like what is this opportunity can we get a little bit more detail right on this how are you missing an opportunity in the first place what does this opportunity look like that you're not keeping an open mind to Oh, okay, Libra. So this Five of Pentacles in the reverse here. Hmm. Libra, I do get the sense of where you gotta, like, I'm gonna be blunt here, right? With peace and love, right? It's really, it's a really good reading in terms of your financial career, but I do get the sense that you guys are going to be going through a little bit of a challenging time, a little bit of like an outcasted time where you feel like you're not belonging, but it's during this time that you take this more so as a sign Libra to create. I feel as if right now for you, there's someone in the works of coming forward to you to help you out in your work life, right? With this Knight of Cups here coming in, this, there is definitely someone here coming forward with some type of opportunity that would help you out. Um, especially with the Six of Wands. This is this public spotlight card, Libra, a really beautiful card. Um, you're really being noticed. Like a lot of eyes are on you right now, Libra. A lot of people are paying attention to the actions that you are doing. Um, but this Five of Pentacles in the reverse is showing to me that I don't feel like right now, like I feel like right now you feel as if no one's understanding you. It feels like this sense of frustration of where it's like maybe the people that you want to work with or things that you want to do just are not working out currently. I do feel like you're going to be going through this period for a little bit longer, and I'm going to be honest. 
but um, this is still short-lived because someone's coming along towards you, right? You're not going to be alone for too much longer, right? And it makes sense is to have the, that card as well, Libra, when you think about it, right? Because if you're identifying the people in your current life that are just like, ugh, right? You're having this uh, new energy coming in to replace this heavy, you know, we could even just say jealous energy, right? Um, so take that as you will, Libra. I'm now going to see what's going on for your romantic and social situations because we have more than just romantic we have uh family friends we have all sorts of relationships in our life we have the four of fire the four of wands this card says contentment peace and abundance a happy home life and the successful completion of a project interesting that we have it talking about a project for you libra especially from your general reading so let's see here what's going on for this four of fire four of wands i want a little bit more clarification on this for you libra Let's see, the star card, the Empress card, okay. So, yeah, right now, Libra, all these cards are inverted, but I'm going to hold them upright so you can see the artwork of them. Three of Pentacles, the Empress card, and the star card. This is definitely letting me know, uh, Libra, your current social situation's really not that lovely for collaborative energies, right? Uh, really not conducive towards getting you to your global and i feel like you identify this as well i'm not saying all the relationships in your life libra but there's definitely especially with the high priestess card you have some people in mind where you're just like there's not something's just not right something's not right here and it's or at the very least um it just doesn't feel good to you anymore libra maybe you, it definitely feels like you've outgrown certain situations that you've outgrown people and so now because you're in like this weird, awkward phase of growth, you feel probably extremely alone right now, feeling really misunderstood and isolated. And so, I mean, I don't really have too strong of a advice for this Libra other than, you know, when you think of this Four of Wands, you think of where it's like, it's, you're heading towards like your purpose, right? The Four of Wands, you're on the path towards your 11-11 portal, but you're just in the awkward phase right now on your path where you're just a little bit more alone than usual. Um, but again, I do get this sense with that Nine of Cups coming in. There's some, so you have something, you have stuff coming. You have stuff coming. You're just in this awkward transitional phase right now, Libra. So hopefully it doesn't make give you too strong of a sense of defeat right now. Um, I know you probably feel a little bit isolated currently. But Libra, that is the weekly reading that I have for you, your weekly horoscope. If you enjoyed this tarot reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. And then also, Libra, I do readings for all the zodiac signs, not just yours. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they will find a message that resonates with them. Till next time, I love you so much, Libra.